Hello and welcome to another SQL tutorial. In this video, we will learn the behavior of count function in a column that has some null values. The table that we have been using for learning is EMP and if I want to have a look at all the data in EMP, that's the statement and we have 14 rows, 14 records in this table and all the columns are visible. I can use a count function count is an aggregate function select count parenthesis and within parenthesis either you can have asterisk or a name of a column we'll run this and it tells me there are 14 records in this table I can use a column name cell for example and it still tells me that there are 14 records in this column what if I use a column name that has some null values in it if I run this it tells me only four the reason is that count function ignores the rows that have null values let's see the data once again one two three four rows have data zero or some other number rest of the rows have null values or no values associated with the with the rows so if you really want to count the total number of rows you'll have to use either a coalesce function or a NVL function I'll say comma after the name of the column and I'll say zero I'm assigning zero values to all rows that have null value and you'll have to say here bracket open NVL and then another bracket close run this one and instead of 4 it should tell us 14 you can also use coalesce function which is a non which is a coalesce function which is common to most relational databases 14 so the point to remember that count function ignores null values and you have to be careful with it when you are dealing with a database thank you very much